are you taking us today? I thought we'd go for uh, a little explore down at the Cutswolds. Greg needs a cup of tea, don't you? I could do with one. I could do with something to eat as well. It's open now, isn't it? It'll be open now, I think. I think half eight it opened, the one that we sort of, but we thought we'd just take a little stroll up and see what else we could see. Uh, lovely village, eh? Lovely little village. Wasn't it um, Morton in the Marsh, wasn't it named after? Uh, because it, there was a lot of marshland around here yes. for the, for the moorheads. Yeah. The oldest bit of building. It is the oldest bit of building here. So we're going to cross over the road and I'll tell you a little bit more. So this is actually called the Curfew Tower and it's a Grade 2 listed building and it's a stone structure with a stone slate roof and a gabled tur turret and it's the oldest building in the town. I found it, sir. What have you found? It's only a curry house down there, isn't it? Indian restaurants and takeaway. The old market way, restaurants and shops. I thought it was a massage parlour. <laughs> Little Italian there. That looks nice. Posh place that is. So what we've decided is we're going to quickly get across the road and we're going to go to number one Cotswolds. Looks like a little coffee house that sells breakfast and a bit of food. Right, we're going to have to be quick because there's music in the background, but we've just found out whether you can see that, these pictures on the wall here, are across there, and this tree, which is Mash. Sarah is cleverly demonstrated, was used to make some tables to and the bar and all the wood on the wall as well. So it hasn't gone to waste, it's all been sanded down and fixed onto the wall. It's a tree. It's a great oak, obviously you don't normally cut them down so it must have been in bad order um, but they've utilised it in a great way number one Cotswolds This is actual real tea leaves as well, so it makes a nice little touch, doesn't it? Yeah. 
seen a lovely little pot as well. It's quite good really, because I had one the other day and the, the cup was bigger than the pot. <laughs> right? Well, yeah, we heard about it for about two hours after you had it as well. <laughs> We're still going on about it now. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, ne they'll never leave that bit down, I tell you. <laughs> for a breakfast all good up look you can tell what mess she's gonna make okay. Even Ted's got his own little mini breakfast up coming up and the, the young lady out there has been nice enough to bring her a bowl of water and also some little treats for yeah. which I've also always, already got. So there you have it, Cotswold, number one Cotswolds, beautiful place, that breakfast has got to be a 10 out of 10. The one next thing. destination is... Stow on the Wold. Stow on the Wold, so we're going to head there now and we're going to have a little look around. We've just had a lovely breakfast though, I'm full. Are we going the right way or the wrong way? Where are we going? Oh, we came in this way, we're going the wrong way. We've got to turn around. What's this that going sending me this way again? You just came out of there and went left. Because it said go this way. It never. It, it did. It didn't. Turn right onto Toddenham Road. I'm going to turn around, I don't know about right. This sat now needs sacking, it's whoever a farm she is. Shop there. So we're back on route. Greg sent us the wrong way, yet again. It's this sat-nav. Story of his it's, life. It's sat-nav. Don't blame the sat-nav. It's you. <laughs> you blame the sat-nav all the time. No. There's only one person that's driving this van and it's you. There you go. Got Is me mac on. Proof? Oh, got my chin there. Is that waterproof? <laughs> But you look good, Greg, with that. Oh, thank you. Cap as well, yeah. Oh. <laughs> How does your mum? <laughs> Ted's just bumped into the uh, the ice cream sign. How does his mum? Changed your coat, Greg. Yeah. It's a bit crazy, but it will drop out. <laughs> so we parked her. Luckily, we found a spot. Um, there's an organic shop down here. There is an organic shop. Are we going to tell we them are, what our plans are? Yeah, tonight we're going to be cooking. I'm not going to tell you what we're cooking. In the camper. But we're going to be cooking in the camper. Yeah, tonight we're going to be cooking a bit of a cuisine, but we are going to get all the ingredients from local shops. Locally supply, supply. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! Local shops. So we're going to get some vegetables but you'll see what we're going to cook later won't you yeah and we'll put the menu on the screen later so and you'll see what we're cooking yeah um i'm gonna have a quick look in here greg's gonna go and have a quick look in trespass i like these kind of shops i like i like all oh, like camping stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff <laughs> and stuff and stuff right do you want to hold ted a sec do you want me to hold the brown you might be able to have dogs in trespass right let's go and have a look this is the RP. So we've just found some dog coats in trespass down on Stow in the Wold. And Sarah has decided to uh, dress Ted up. See if one will fit. All right, so we've just been in trespass. Uh, it was a great uh, little shop, loads of stuff in there. And we found a little coat for Ted. Um, but it didn't really fit properly because there was no bands on the back of the legs. Didn't but have the, the leg bands, did it? No, and it was it just a, stay. It didn't fit properly. It was like them. a little bubble jacket sort of thing, weren't it? It was. It was, like it was pretty cool, to be honest. It was nice. Um, but but we needed the elastic on the back, I mean, didn't we? Yeah. So it fits like that tight. It was like it was just flapping about in the end. So it wouldn't have stayed on, would it? But the manager was great. He let us film in there. He didn't mind. Um, so that's appreciated. Always helps when you're trying to put video together. So we're going to walk down to the organic shop, see if we can get a few little bits 
for tonight's cook up camper van cook up so there you go I don't know whether you can see with this lens now because it's tipping it down the organic shop um, it's not quite the shop I thought it was but everything again is organic paper or raw materials being used in there and it's a it's a lovely little shop it's like a little house in there shop, it's not what we thought though is it no it's not i thought i was going to get me vegetables from there <laughs> <laughs> i went in there looking for broccoli but what a nice shop the, organic. the heavens have just opened we're going to stand under this tree for a minute i know you should never stand under a tree in a storm but in this case we're gonna because it's tipping it down So we're just taking a walk up the high street, as you can see, the weather, the great British weather, the heavens have opened. Greg's got his coat on which he's just found a security tag in the pocket, no wonder he keeps going off every time we go into a shop. But there's a lot of antique jewellers, um, food places. So they've just gone in a charity shop, air ambulance. They've just gone in to have a little look round, a little mooch. You never know what you're going to find in these places, do you? It's a lovely little village though. It's got a little co-op there on the corner. A couple of pubs, coffee houses. Very nice old market town. Sarah's found a cooking shop. You know how much she loves cooking. Well, you don't know yet, but you don't will do. Don't know yet, but you will do soon. Come on, you can come in here. Ted's found a bowl. A mug there for you. He'll just pick that himself, Ted. I'm looking for some wooden spoons now. No, no. Alright, so Sarah's found the butchers here. Local butchers, local produce from the Cotswolds. I wonder what we're having for our dinner. This is the moment of truth. So the, the queues are literally coming out the door in there. Busy, isn't it, in there? It is, it went really busy. So, we've got butchers, some that. diced chicken and we've got purple broccoli. Oh yeah. Lambourns have stolen the wall. As you can see, we brought Ted's Nam with us today. Is that it? That's it. Right. This is only a little village, this is. Orton on Water is a bit, yes, a bit bigger. Yeah. What's the village called? Stow on the wall, this is. Stow on the wall. So I think we'll head back up to the van, which is back up this road. We can go up this road if you want to. And then... Uh, Put the chicken in the fridge. Is that a clue to what we're having this evening or, or well? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Is it, is it, what's the... I'm trying to work out what we're having. Well, if we've got chicken and we've got broccoli. I haven't told you anything else what we got, so... So we've got to wait and see? We've got to wait and see, I'm afraid. Okay, sounds We're good. Spill the surprise. I love surprises. Surprise! <laughs> There's another little courtyard with some lovely little quaint shops in. Oh, I see, yeah. That's Ted. Hey, Ted. Oh, well, Mum spotted more coats for Ted, Look. as you can see. Loads. Oh, dear. Let's get in there. Come on, Ted. How did you get in there? She's trying to climb through the window, Sarah. He's here, look. Come on. She's got coats. Get in there. 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 Get in there
You know, this is a little shop. What's this called? Cutswold Grooming Company. Company. Just went in the in that dog shop there. It says, go mad looking at leads and Ted's jackets, coats, and everything else. But I have to rein her in a little bit. Um, watch the road, man. I see it's going the other way. I have to rein her in a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Put a block on the card. Let's get in the van, have a break from this rain. Turn left onto Foss Way, Roman Road. Where to now, Greg? Oh, oh Greg, my purse is shot behind you. I've just had to pick Mum up off the floor. <laughs> Where to now, Greg? Right, we're going down to Bolton on the water. 